Hi everyone. I just wanted to let you know that we have a diaries poster available. You can do cool things with it, like hang it up in your room. Watch. Oh, uh, what are you doing? About to hang this poster. Uh, yeah. You know what? Let me do it. Okay. This poster is very nice. Be sure to check it out. It also helps to support the series. Enjoy the show! Ow, my finger! Ow, my finger! Oh, no! You've taken quite the interest in this village for the past few days. Jean? <laughs> I wonder, what draws you to this place? The lord of this village is dead. There's no reason for you to be here anymore. What you do with your own time is none of my business. But remember this. We have a purpose far greater than any emotions you may think you are feeling. This village is worthless. Stay and observe its downfall if you want. But if you allow this to distract you, what happened to the Lord here will to everyone. <laughs> What's with that face? Remember what you are and who you truly serve. <sighs> what do you think? About Vlad? Who else? Well, he isn't the only one observing the village, you know. Our job here is done. We don't need to be here any longer. I beg to differ. Something is happening here. And it's strange that it's happening as we're about to leave this village. What do you mean? I can't put my finger on it, but this village is changing. The hopeless feeling I once felt here isn't as strong as it once was. Are you sure? Yes, but it all depends on you, Jean. Do you want to risk leaving this place? What if the jury of nine found out you left something behind? <sighs> we shouldn't have gotten involved with the high priest of- Quiet! I'll make sure we draw out anyone of power hiding here. Of course. I did it! It looks pretty too. Aww. Well- at least my ugly fence still lives. Uh. Xenix, how safe is this? Don't worry. I'm highly experienced in archery. He failed archery during his guard training. He was- ah! We don't talk about that. Now stand still. I need more practice. You're crazy! Courage, Brian. Are you even paying attention? Hold still! I have a better idea. What? This isn't as exciting. Yeah, but I won't be dead. Hmm. I didn't realize Xanax went to Guard Academy. I suspect he did. Wait, you mean you don't know? I've known Xanax for a few years now. 
When I found him, he was in bad shape. He was terribly wounded and barely remembered anything. But, but he seems so... Put together? That's hardly the way I'd describe him. If you'd seen him, you'd think differently. Which is why I think some part of him resents her. I think he sees something in her that reminds him of that time. Then again, I could be wrong. Xenix is a complicated one. Stupid arrow. Maybe the point is dull. <laughs> I see the complexity. Sir Gareth, are you just gonna stare at that woman all day? Huh? Actually, I was going to ask the same question. You've been rather interested in her since she arrived a few days ago. Why is that, Sir Gareth? Is it because of this magic she had that we haven't even seen her use yet? I know what I saw. But that's not why I've been watching her. She's been oddly helpful for someone who just came here. Helpful? Yeah, haven't you noticed? She's helped Brendan with almost every task he's been doing. Donna as well. She follows them around like a faithful puppy trying to help in any way she can. She sounds desperate for attention. I think she's rather nice. Have you seen the village lately? It's looking slightly nicer ever since she showed up and began helping Brendan. Sounds suspicious to me. Why can't you accept someone nice doing- He's right. Her kind of behavior isn't common in this world. Then why don't you go talk to her instead of just watching her do work? Huh? Oh, right. Sheesh, give Gareth a break, Xenix. We've been on patrol ever since that werewolf was spotted. None of us have had a break to talk to anyone. Until now. We haven't seen that werewolf for a day. Just go talk to her. You know what? I'll do it myself. Xenix, wait! Courage, Gareth. Silence! <laughs> oh, hey, Xenix. Shut up! What did I do? You! Me? Why are you so helpful? Xenix! Manners! I don't really care about manners. I want answers and... <laughs> rat! It's not a rat, it's a squirrel! Hamster. Wait, uh, are you feeding it? Him. And yes, it's been keeping them away from your guard quarters. Of course, Miss Kiki feeds them more than I do. No wonder. I thought Xenix actually did his job. Hey! Xenix does more than I ever could. He protects the village. I... I do? <clears throat> I mean... Heck yeah, I do. I wish I could protect the village as well as he does. I think you... Well, then maybe I'll train you sometime. If you can keep up with me, that is. Really? I'd love that. See, Gareth, she isn't so bad after all. Wait, I didn't say... Bad? M Melody, oh, please, a moment. How have you been? Uh, I've been fine. How about you? Have you been busy? What have you been up to? Hmm. Well... Enjoy seeing others smile. Milady, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Well, two things, really. Yes? Have you recovered any of your memory? It's been quite a few days now, and I was thinking maybe something had come back to you. 
I'm... I'm sorry. But I don't recall anything. Uh, my apologies for asking. I wanted to ask you about the magic you performed the other day. Was it witchcraft? It doesn't matter. What matters is, I wanted to ask you if you could by chance do it again. Well, would you look at that. This village went to hell and back and is looking better by huh? the day. Evening, Gareth. Long time no see. And who is this seductress here? Paul! Yeah, I know. Manners, manners. <laughs> I swear, Gareth. You don't act like a guard sometimes. You got a stick up your butt like one of them self-proclaimed royals, I swear. <laughs> uh, well, I... Oh, lighten up. I'm messing with you. Nice to meet you, miss. Name's Paul. I'm a traveling merchant, and if there's one thing I appreciate, it's getting straight to business. Speaking of which... Wait, you're here early. Early? Uh, I've been doing trade with Paul to keep Phoenix Drop from going hungry since the crops died. And since we don't have a merchant in town, we'll go hungry without. Long story short, I'm the food bringer. <laughs> but enough talk, Garth. I'm afraid I don't have any supplies this time around. What? Well, you see, the head guard of Matelli bought a lot for me this time around. Apparently there's some kind of feud going on there, and it's hurting the way of life. What about our way of life? Gareth. You don't have a lord anymore. How long are you going to feign ignorance? But... Stop being selfish and realize you're putting everyone in danger by giving them false hope. A village without a lord is fair game for bandits and thieves, and it will only be a matter of time before they realize what happened here. I will make this work! <sighs> you remind me of a younger me. Trust me when I say your pride will be your downfall. That won't happen. I'll make sure of it. <laughs> Fine. Then I'll give you some advice. A fellow merchant named Logan is headed in this direction. He's about an hour or so out, and he's actually looking for a village to settle down in. He is? Mm-hmm. He's a very well-renowned merchant. Could keep this place supplied for months. He's not partial for a lord to be present, either. R really at least that's what I think you said. Mm. But yes, as long as the town is nice looking, he may decide to stay here. Just cater to his needs, and maybe he'll stay. Well, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> now I'm gonna go see Donna. She always has a place for me to stay when I visit. <laughs> I'll be leaving here tomorrow, though. Good luck. This could be it! This could be it! What's it? A merchant! If we have a great one, we can get a new lord! Don't merchants feel safe if we already have a lord? Not this one! Brendan, how long to get the market plaza fixed up? Uh, about a day? Well, with Avmau's help, I'm sure we can... What do we all help? The guards, that is! Wait, what?! A an hour? Perfect! My sword is yours. You can't hammer nails with a sword. Fine, my hammer. I beg to differ! You can hammer nails with a sword! Watch! <gasps> my fence! Enough to work! chores where people actually live that I couldn't and now it's almost back to its former. Shut up, will ya? I'm just so happy. <laughs> and it wouldn't
wouldn't have gotten done this fast if it weren't for you helping me. Thank you so much, Afbow. We helped too! Yeah, but you gotta admit, it went faster since they've already been working on it. So Dale has spotted the merchant on the way. Brian, go keep your father in check with patrol on the outskirts of the village. Yes, sir. Xenix, keep patrol in the village. I want to make sure the merchant feels as safe as possible. Yes, Sir Gareth. What about us? You two, look like you live here. Done. Wait, how do we do that? Just make it believable. Now I'm going to greet him. Greetings! Welcome to the town of Phoenix Drop. You must be Logan. This village looks like a donkey's rear. No gates or any fortification. You're the blunt, aren't you? We're actually working on that. <laughs> Are you now? Alright then, show me what your heck hole has to offer. <sighs> for the people, for the people. So, tell me what's on your mind. Huh? Well, the Don I know is spunky and don't take no lip without giving any. And so far you haven't said much aside from Paul. Come in, come in. <laughs> What's wrong? It's Fisher. What about him? I haven't seen him in days. I'm mighty worried about him now. Are his wares still in town? Yeah. I brought them to my place to keep him safe till he returned, but... Something happened then. No merchant leaves their wares unprotected. But... The only thing that could happen is... Try not to think about it. Come. Let's eat for now. I'm gonna go look for him one more time. A rather nice village. Repairs look reasonably new, though. <laughs> That's b because we keep things up to date often. <laughs> really? Then for that amount of work, there's not many villagers here to appreciate it. Th that's because they're all out. Are they now? And who are those awkward folk? Oh, my Irene, no. Afma, what are you doing? I'm doing what I see Emmeline do since she's a villager. Where did you get that teacup? Where did my teacup go? What are you doing then? I'm playing dead. It makes it more believable we're a real village with real problems. Wow, you're smart. What are they doing? <laughs> They're, uh, Brenda Nafmau. Come here. Meet Logan. He's the new merchant who might be interested in living here. Really now? Pleasure to meet you. You know, I'm rather interested in this place. There's no competition here. A land I can work into my trade. R really? Yeah. However, there's two things I need to assure her here before I can make my choice. Name it! How well is the soil? Can't make a market without proper crops. Well, um... Well, we have one patch of land that grows beautifully, and I'm sure the rest will be fine. We are? Huh. Love to see it then. And next, where's your lord? Uh, our lord? Yes. I won't settle for a heck hole without someone to blame. Uh, w well, it's... it's a long story. This is our lord. Really? What? Huh? Then let me say, this village is real crap. What? Xenix? 
please show Logan here our most bountiful farm. Yes, sir. This way. What are you doing? You said that the merchant was important and to make sure he had what he needed, so... It's a lie too big for us! Garoff, do we have much of a choice right now? Paul filled me in. Garoff, a lie bigger than you is better than dead bodies lying in the ground. But, but, she's... She might be a good lord. She's been so helpful lately and really cares about this village. In comparison, Lord Malik was a terrible lord. Then... I could be the next terrible lord. <laughs> you know, she may not be the best lord, but a good lord is better than none. Are you okay with this? If it helps this village, then I can do that. <sighs> and only until we can find a new lord. New lord of what? <laughs> Your guard Xenix saw a rat and tried to chase it off in a sorry attempt to impress me. I have to say this village is one giant mess of- Who is- Who is... me? I- I'm the Lord. I must be hallucinating. You know what? I'll stay here to see how things go. But the moment I hate it, again, I'm leaving. What was that about? It worked! Did I help? More than you know, sweetheart. Come with me. I need to ask of you another favor. You've already been asked a lot of, but... I need you to perform your miracle again. 